Every RV manufacturer should be doing this. This is where a lot of RV manufacturers get it wrong. We were not allowed to film this part, this particular point. If, yes. if I seem giddy, I am. Uh, again, blown away by this. I'm Tom. And I'm Cherie. And we're enjoythejourney.life. Drive on that with you right next to me. Well, we are actually going on a special RV factory tour today. Yes. We want the bed. Yeah, when I die, I want to know I live like that. I want to live in wide spaces, fly like the wind in high places, rushing like water on my face with your hand in my head. Do you guys remember when you were kids and you were traveling with your parents and you would pass a truck? Stick your arm out the window and then blow the horn. <laughs> We're bringing it back. We're not in Indiana because the plant is not up there around the Elkhart area like many, many, 80, 90% of all the RVs made are up there. Yeah. We are in Alabama. But we're going to Mississippi, Today. Burnsville, yep, I think. Uh, and Van Lee is actually a division of Tiffin that's known for legendary customer service. And quality. Right. We've been talking about doing a tour at the Van Lee plant since we released that one video a yeah. long time ago. Yeah, that was like three years ago. So finally, here we are. We get to go and tour. Right, but we better get going. It's a couple hour drive yeah. Yeah. from let's, here. Let's do it. All right. Van Lee, not Van Lee, as we've been calling it for two years. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, actually, uh, the company was named after Bob Tiffin's son and grandson, Van and Lee, and they started the company back in 2014. Now, which one's the son and which one's the grandson? Van Lee. We'll have to figure that out. Let us know if you know. So why do we make videos like this one? Well, we know a lot of you guys are still shopping for the perfect RV. And let's face it, the news out there in the RV industry has not been a high quality. Well, the quality of RVs being put out has been put into question. So when we find a manufacturer that is doing it right, we wanna share it with you guys so you guys have a choice, you know, what RV you want to buy. And if you're thinking new, you may want to look at this manufacturer. And something I keep saying is, these manufacturers really need to step up their game. Well, we think somebody has. <laughs> yes, and hopefully more manufacturers will do what Van Lee is doing here. Yes, let's set the bar higher. So let's take a look behind the scenes of the Van Lee RV manufacturer. Let's we go. looked at Van Lee's once before. We actually have a tour on our channel. We'll put a link down below for that video if you want to check it out. And we were really impressed with the quality at the time, but totally. we didn't go with Van Lee. Why? They didn't have a toy hauler at the time, but like we mentioned, that has changed with their new ambition. 399th. I am so excited to see the finished product. Right, and we actually got to take a walk through the third Ambition belt. It's still in the plant, and we actually got to walk through the bare bones of it. Yeah, that was super cool uh, to see the bare bones before they've done all the finishing touches. Yes and to see the difference in the build. And how similar it is to our floor plan, down to where the TV is angled and located with the bathroom behind it, the bathrooms are bigger. Right, you lose a little bit of the garage space, which is fine. That's fine. <laughs> and have more living space. And like in the bedroom, you can actually sit up in the in bed. In bed, yes, that's right. a huge challenge. 
and, <laughs> and not so much with the uh, toy hauler, but Van Lees in general have uh, taller slides. Yes, taller slides, bigger bathrooms. We're really excited about seeing it. Right, and uh, one of the things they mention is that they are built for full-time living. They know that uh, a lot of people are going full-time out there, and even if you're not, you're gonna enjoy having an RV that's more like home. Yes, they want you to enjoy your journey in your home. And so the, the taller slides just make it feel so much roomier. Roomier, yes. It just really opens up the room more. You're not looking at a wall and then the slide. It's up higher. It just feels good. Exactly. And speaking of tours, uh, we do have a tour coming up of our Grand Design Momentum. Uh, some people have been waiting yeah, we've for We've been that. working on the office. People keep asking, what are you hauling back there? Our office, <laughs> among other things that are very, uh, what's the word? Uh, other things that are very practical, and we'll be sharing that tour with you, so be sure to subscribe. So we asked Jake, our tour guide, he was awesome, how many units do you put out a day? And his answer was surprising. Right, they said it used to be five, uh, RVs per day. Now it's only four because of shortages in the supply chain that's affected all RV manufacturers. Yes, shocking. Shocking, because a lot of manufacturers put out 20 plus a day and he said that that isn't what they're about. They're about making sure that each one that they put out is quality. It goes back to something that Bob Tiffin said. I'll see if I can say it correctly here, but basically they'd rather sell five RVs and have five happy campers rather than 20 RVs and have more unhappy campers. Their focus is definitely about the customer experience and not just profits, which Talk about a breath of fresh air yeah. in this industry. It really, and it does help you like breathe easier hearing that they actually care about their customers. And we're not associated with this company in any way, shape, or form. We were just in the area, did the tour, and we're really impressed and wanted to share it with you. Exactly, and we should also mention that uh, in December of 2020, Thor, one of the large RV manufacturers, did buy out the Tiffin RV group, which includes Van Lee RV, the Van Lee RV brand. So one of the things that was a part of that deal is that they would keep the entire Tiffin family as the management group. So we hope the quality will continue going forward. Yes. One thing that really impressed us was that they use real wood on their cabinets. They actually have their cabinet warehouse where they build the cabinets right on site. They actually build them for each individual unit. It's 70,000 square feet of space, a huge section of their entire factory that's dedicated to that. And right, not any of that fake wood product it's process. It's so bad laminated thin stuff. oh was, uh, yeah. yeah huge <laughs> and trust me if you tour a van lee rv in person you will see the difference let's talk about quality control because this is where a lot of the rv manufacturers get it wrong and it's getting worse this is unheard of in the rv manufacturing community they have three stages of their pre-delivery inspection process. It's incredible. I, I, I'm just blown away when I, I read too. about this. Not only do they inspect at each station the quality of the work they just did, but also they will pressure test like all of the plumbing to make sure that there are no leaks anywhere. Right. And on top of that, they will then take the finished unit out to a, a campground inspection station. Right. 
How yeah, cool is that? Yeah, and actually test your unit in a real... Real world testing. Right, to make sure everything functions. I've never heard of I something know. like that I know. before. I kept saying, thank you, thank you for stepping it up, thank you. And are they done then? No. no. <laughs> actually, there's a third inspection and that's at the shipping center where they go through all of it again before it gets shipped to your dealer, which most likely will then do another, another PDI. Yep. Uh, again, blown away by this particular point. If, yes. if I seem giddy, I am. I get chills and, just because I've been wanting the RV manufacturers to step it up with quality control and here we are. Right, we're gushing on this <laughs> because we think, again, other RV manufacturers should step it up and be doing yes. something like Please. this. So maybe other manufacturers are not making custom built cabinets or using maybe the exact same high quality parts, but you can still inspect your unit to make sure they are ready to go out. I can't tell you the numerous times that I see in these Facebook groups of RV people that are living or even just first time <laughs> tripping, or the people that are going out for their maiden voyage, their first trip, and the multitude of issues that they have with it. That's not right. right. You just spend that kind of money on for experiences the experiences you aren't paying for are the disasters <laughs> like, like the shower railing put on backwards and it dribbles out onto the floor just things that are done completely wrong just things that are not sloppy just breaking. yeah yeah right so again that's why we're giddy yes. about this point <laughs> we want your experiences to be amazing we encourage you to go out there and live your best life and adventure and have fun we don't want you out there living a disaster life in an rv right <laughs> when you have stories that your first couple camping trips did not go that well that makes us sad mm -hmm. and you know we want you to have an amazing first trip so that's why we make videos like this and show you our problems that happen on the road so you can be prepared yes. and also make a better informed decision yes. on your RV purchase. You know one thing that I was really surprised about? They load up the slides first and then place them into the slide hole. <laughs> you call it. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, so that they don't damage any of the doorways bringing right. in like furniture, furniture, refrigerator, appliance and things like that. That's really cool, but you know, another thing that we're super gushing about <laughs> is it's residential furniture, not yes. RV furniture. No, a residential refrigerator. Yeah, the Franklin Furniture Company makes all of their furniture. And as many of you know, RV furniture is kind of sad. Scary. Sad it's, and scary. <laughs> it's not very comfortable. It's made very cheap. Mm -hmm. uh, the layers peel off after a couple of years. Yeah, the pleather. <laughs> right. <laughs> leather pleather. Exactly. So huge thing. And you mentioned residential refrigerator. Yes. How cool is that? Although so, they do have the option to do the, what is it, propane electric right. type. But something yes, like that they, for those of you that want to do yeah. more boondocking or something like that. One thing they claim to have the most solid sidewalls in the industry actually described it as rock solid and no delamination issues at all. Actually, Jake, our tour guide, went into great detail to describe the process. It was very technical, so I will spare you all of the details, but definitely look into it. There are some small things that we thought were really cool features. That one was the uh, the electric <laughs> <Right>. thing. <laughs> it might be small and you don't care about it, but uh, for the person that gets to dump the wastewater tanks, they have a manual pool like normal, but also an electric button just to hit, which is kind of cool. Right. You know. So that was one of the uh, things, but there was another thing that had the the rolling cord. Right. The electrical cord is that. retractable, yeah. which I don't think I've ever seen that I've on a fifth wheel. I've never seen that, but I don't look at a lot of the electrical stuff. More of the class A 
uh, might have the retractable cable so you don't have to have that separate. And again, I think it's the Tiffin influence on these fifth wheels. So we're almost seeing more motorhome like type class features. A nice features being implemented into the fifth wheel. But you were talking about that pull versus the switch for dumping. Right. Um, yeah, the pull really feels a little archaic after seeing what they're doing with this. So nice improvement, thumbs up. <laughs> but Not that I ever dump any tanks. <laughs> it's nice to have the backup because yeah. if it's electric, more of a chance of failing than manual. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, if you gotta dump, you gotta dump. You don't want your so. dump to fail. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody loves a successful dump. Am I right? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> That's way more funny than my notes. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of the sidewalls, because of that method that they use, they don't have that wavy look on the outside of an RV before you put the stripes and the swoops on it. That's why they do the stripes and swoops because it's, I, what is it? What was the term they used? Eye wash. Eye wash. They use that, it's called eye wash, so the eye doesn't notice all of the imperfections in the sidewall. But these are very clean, no waviness, and so there's a potential to not have the swoopy swoops or the stripey stripes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There actually was one without all of the finished decals on it, and I really like the look of it. More of a solid color, clean lines. You'll have to let me know what you think because our tour guide disagreed with me. He likes the stripes and swoops, and a lot of people do. We're all different. What's your preference? Right, let us know down in the comments. I don't have a big problem with the stripes and the swoops, uh, but it might be awesome when you look at this ambition fifth wheel toy hauler. What about solid black or solid blue Not or black. red? I don't know. No, no red. I don't like loud. I like subtle, you know, like, would you paint the inside of your house or the outside of your house black or red? No. No. What color would you paint the outside of your house? Probably more like a tan, off-white. Yeah, I have something kind of like low-key, but looks nice. It's a toy hauler. It's supposed to be loud and proud. Oh boy, you men. <laughs> like a bunch of big boys. <laughs> Loud and proud, bright blue. Put your big toys in there, you know, <laughs> motorcycle, <Rawr>! ATV. <laughs> you gotta be going down the road, like, oh, here I am coming down the road. Look at me. <laughs> I don't know, I think women feel a little bit differently about that. <laughs> <laughs> So as you may have noticed, we were not allowed to film the actual tour. That's why we were showing you pictures instead. Yes. So we can't wait to see the finished ambition soon. January. Yeah, probably at the Tampa Bay Tampa show. RV show yeah. coming up Are here. you guys going? Yeah, let us know down below if you plan on going. So be sure to subscribe because we want to meet you. And we will let you know in upcoming videos exactly where we're going to be at the show. So what did you think about the Van Lee factory tour? Let us know down below. Would you consider buying one of these RVs? We might be. <laughs> yeah, should it be our next RV? Does Van Lee have the best quality fifth wheels in the market? If you know of anything better, let us know down in the comments. Your comments also help everyone else. Thanks so much for watching everyone. And uh, gosh, uh, give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Yeah, and don't forget to subscribe and we hope that you enjoy Joy your, your journey. journey. Bye so guys. guys. <laughs> Is Tom driving like a maniac? <laughs> this is fun. These are curvy roads. He's making me feel ill. <laughs> <laughs> you're not in control. <laughs> I've lived in areas that have these roads before. I remember my mom getting nauseous Go, and she used to have to take Dramamine in Tennessee in the Smoky Mountains. And I went to college at ETSU in the mountains and there were all these roads, but I've never felt nauseous until today. So I'm wondering if it's Tom's driving or if you have <laughs> any tips <laughs> of anything I can do. Maybe some ginger, I don't know, to deal with Tom's driving. I think he thinks he's off-roading or something. Crunch. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
just passed Chef Troy's Talk of the Town restaurant. Why, is, why do you think it's Talk of the Town? <laughs> it's the only restaurant in town. <laughs> <laughs> so it's actually Sunday, so it's moving day. Uh, as RVs are leaving the it, park. Yeah, a common day for people to move. Right. <laughs> it's moving day. <laughs> I know we're missing the entertainment. <laughs> this is our Sunday entertainment. Yeah. Friday and Sundays. <laughs> well, it's a little rainy outside, so we don't need to yeah. sit outside. I had to put on my prescription sunglasses because I was feeling so woozy. This is the most kudzu I have seen in a long time. It's like uh, monsters in the forest. Uh, it almost feels like you're in a jungle. <laughs> but wow, these winding roads. <laughs>